when you live 67 years, you uh, you have some real highlights in your life for these boys that's been in and out around here. Really mean a lot to me and Luke. Uh, so far, the uh, grandchildren, the girls, has been real scarce. But uh, about the time we started to build this house, well, actually a little bit before then, Steve, uh, Clay came into our life, and this was an old barn, old barn. We came down here and started working on this house, man, we built most of it. And uh, Lou was so gentle and, and painstaking and patient with Clay. She'd take a two before down there and drive nails about halfway up at them. Probably eight penny nails. Just lines of them in there. Didn't give Clay the hammer. And he took a hammer up right at the head. Because he was so little he couldn't pick it up from the other end. And he'd sit there and just tap, tap, tap. So that nail went out of sight. Went down all the way in that board. And he'd slide down like riding a horse a little bit further. And he'd drive every one of them nails down. And as he grew up a little bit bigger, he was running around the porch at him one time. And he grabbed a little old, uh, we call him a horny toad. It's a little old, one of them old big frogs that you see every once in a while out here. He brought him in there to his Aunt Lou and he looked at it and says, I've been praying for a sign. I don't know what he meant by that. I guess the Lord had been on his mind or something, but he thought that frog was a sign. And it might have been, who knows? When we planted the pines out here, uh, I drove the tractor and Lucy rode the, the planter and put every one of them one at a time down, planted them down between the legs down there and some tractor equipment running. Clay was set right up her side of her. And I think he actually planted some of them. I don't know for sure. I'm sure he did. So she made sure that he done whatever was going to do. And when we go fishing, he might go down there and he might, might not be one drop of water in one manner, but he'd be the one that caught it. You can get off, start to get off on the houseboat, take your pole out, she'd fix him a, you know, no, but she'd fix him a pole, throw it off out there, a reel or something. While we was unloading the boat, he'd, we'd look around, he'd be dragging old shell cracker in. This one particular time we were down there, I just put the houseboat in. And uh, we'd fished in there most of the day, and we hadn't caught a bunch of fish, but he had caught about a four finger shell crack, good eating size, but that's special. So I decided I'd stay down there that night. And Ronnie Braxton had showed me how to set the rig up for some catfish and be catfish on the reel. And I fished, and finally, the last bait I had with that shell crack, and I put him on there and took him out. Went and had a tent in there then that actually had a house on it. Went to sleep at four o'clock, around four o'clock in the morning. I heard something flaming and went out and got over that little reel. And uh, I wrestled around with it, finally got it where it comes to the top of the water. And I looked down there and it was a catfish, big catfish. And uh, there was, we had banisters around the, uh, the deck, really weren't the house but then, and had the tent inside of it. So the so Clay went below the, into the river. And I worked that catfish up around the side of that deck, the other side of the boat, and got him up beside the boat, which was tied parallel to the deck there. And I stepped over them rails, them underwear down on that boat. And kept on and got that catfish up there close by. And I got him on top of the water and I reached over and took one of them big aluminum nets from Walmart, stuck it over around him and Picked up, and when I did, the catfish didn't even move. It just bent the handle on that, uh, on that net. So anyway, I kept on and got him up for again, and I run him up, got him running back up in that net, and reached down and got a hold of the ring, and just rolled him up in the boat on top of it. And when I first caught him, I figured he weighed about 18, 20 pounds. And I found her by myself, they took, uh, I, I just had eye surgery, and I really had poor eyesight. And the more I take my flashlight and shine on him, the bigger he got. And when I met Lucy up at the landing that day, got off there and started picking him up and carrying him up to, I knew he was heavy as a cyclopedia, not the other he was. And after I 
At least four hours after I caught him, we weighed him and he weighed 49 pounds. First time I ever fished for this kind of fish. Clay was a big, big bunch of luck there. I went, one time we were fishing off the houseboat and uh, I left him and Lou there and I went down the river on the boat. When I come back, when I pulled up to the houseboat, I, I said, y'all caught anything? And they said, caught one. I looked around there and he picked up and he had about a 10 pound striped bass he caught on my reel while that was gone. He always could catch him fish and he always enjoyed it. We always enjoyed him.